GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 series of my generic brand, Galaxy. This is the snow start planet, and we're just in our cozy little hidey hole base that we built inside of a ore deposit. Well, so last episode I left off with me in the hole mole and going around mining. Uh, that's all fine and dandy. I brought it back to empty out the hole mole and the base doesn't have enough storage. The hole mole had as much storage as the base. So we got to modify some stuff. I got to make some storage. First of all, let's pick our our crops. They're ready. Woo! Um, yeah, our crops. I know. Our 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 sprouts. Our four sprouts that we got from the wreckage. We can now harvest. So let's do that. I'm going to connect to my fridge, and then when we pick stuff, it'll just go directly into the fridge now. Okay. So. We just go like this, and like this, and like this, and like this. Okay, that was super exciting. Now we can, I'm actually not going to turn it into food. I need to actually turn it into sprouts. Nutrient solution. Why can we not do nutrient solution? Really? Crap. Okay, so I thought... Wait, wait, wait. I seem to recall seeing one around, didn't I? There's one. Yeah, okay. So let's, let's, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to dump that into there. And then we're going to make the one sprout of pumpkins. It's because it's the, it's the vegetables. Everything is based off this to make more uh, grow plots and everything. I've ran out of out of my spoiled food. All my uh, the um, herbal leaves that I that rotted on me, I've already turned into grow plots. So, okay, uh, that's all we're going to be able to do for sprouts. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going to eat the rest of this. What I'm going to do is I'll cook up some meat because we're getting hungry. We're getting hungry. We really need our garden really badly. So we have our sprouts. Let's put these down. Um, that's good enough. We'll keep, I'm not going to remove the blue peppers yet until we've gotten a more, a couple more yields out of them. I need, I need nine of the pumpkin sprouts down here, I think, for, for starters. Okay, so that's all we're going to be able to do with the garden. That's fine. Let's get some food made. And then I'll show you what I did on the base. And just um, four, five for now. Okay. Um, so what I had to do is I have to make a whole bunch of the cargo extensions. And I was like, I, you, as you can see, I've got like ore coming out the yin yang now because the whole mole is so awesome. And I had it up to 26,000 SU in, in weight. I never did cap it out at the 32. I just, I ran out of time. It was, I, I mined a whole bunch of, I, I like tore up like four or five deposits. And it was at about 26,000. When I came back to the base, um, no problems. It had no problems still scaling straight up and down. So I'm not sure if I'm not sure if we're going to meet its max weight capacity when we do hit the 32,000. I'm hoping we don't because I still want to be able to scale pretty steep hills when it's full of ore. OK, um, let's turn this back on. Now that I moved all the water out of here, I was able to make some 
I made some more controllers and I was, I was queuing up a whole bunch of the ex extensions here. So we got to make a whole bunch of extensions. So we'll let those, we'll let those cook. We've got a lot of iron and I can, um, I can probably move some over to it now. Uh, maybe not yet. Not yet. It's still pretty full as you can see. Um, but we can eat a bunch of grilled steaks. And yeah, uh, fridges do hold a hell of a lot more each individually now. So they, they're huge. They're like, they're pretty much like cargo box in, the, I think it's 64 slots. But they only have 1,000 volume. But that's okay, though. I mean, it's most of the stuff except for the water. The water and the stoner is what's going to kill you. Um, and yes, you got to put water and stone in your fridge if you want to make grow plots, if you want to make nutrient solutions. You, you got no choice. Either that or you're going to put dust, sown dust in your freaking <laughs> fridge. Whatever. It's got to be done. You can throw just stone in. It'll make the... Even though it doesn't have it as a template, which is kind of funny because if you look at, I'm going to show you guys this. Um, so you don't see crushed stone anywhere as a template, do you? You don't see purified water anywhere as a template either, do you? No. But if you look at the ingredients, this takes five purified water four stone dunce, dust, and one spoiled food. Okay, well, that's fine. Stone dust. It doesn't have the template for that. Well, that sucks. So that means we got to craft it in something else? No. No, you do not. People, I see people do this all the time on YouTube because they think, they think that, oh, they can't make the stone dust in here. Let's make a whole bunch of stone dust and throw it in the food processor. But now, well, now it's the fridge. You throw it in the fridge. But... You don't have to anymore. You never had to before either. You could just use crushed stone and it would actually, even though it doesn't have the template to do it, it makes it anyway. It'll just eat the crushed stone, convert it to stone dust. And as, as it's done here, uh, it'll also do that with regular water. It'll take regular water and convert it to purified water. Uh, so you don't actually have to, spin that up in another crafter to do that or constructor i should say uh okay so that was the pro dip for the day you can just throw water and raw stone in your fridge and the food processor will take care of it okay where are we at with our container extensions 20 somewhat okay good I'm going to show you what I did outside. So, um, so yeah, here's the little garden area. But sure, it's only 18 plots there. But then we got this level here to fill up when we get uh, more plots made. So there's another 18. And you'll notice it's oxygenated in here. So this is all sealed, ready to go. I just got to throw the plots in. And same with this level here. I just got to throw the plots in. I guess I got to put some lights in there too. So we've got, uh, we'll be able to do what? Let's see, 18, 36, 54 grow plots. That's not bad. That's pretty good for a starter base. And then you can't see it from here. I'm going to have to uh, grab my color tools. And here, I don't want to put it on that. I just want my regular toolbar. Okay. Um, because we're going to have to go from the outside and mark in to where it is so that we can... Um, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. I, Like I was saying, I wanted to extend the base out to the where the water was, to where the, where the water generators are. And... I decided to do that by an underground tunnel. And so here we go. I took the uh, whole mole and just literally 
Now I might not be able to get in because I don't want to drill too much more here. Because I put blocks up so now it's in the way a bit. I don't want to make it too much wider, just good enough. Okay. So what I did is I drilled in to get to the base. So here's the roof section of the constructor room. And I'm thinking this is going to be my cargo, de facto cargo container room. And I got to figure out a way how to get here just by walking. So Oh yeah, you notice I turned around in the tunnel and it, yeah, this thing's awesome. This this whole mall is by by far by far my best vehicle I have ever made. And it seems to be working just awesome for Alpha 9.2 with weight restrictions on with the 32k. It's just it's it, it rocks. I mean, I'm loving it. Okay, anyway, Enough of the uh, blueprint boasting. We will uh, <laughs> we'll get to work here. So I guess I could level off some more. You can see we don't we haven't quite we haven't quite dug out quite enough yet. So we'll push that. What I planned on doing is pushing this in, and getting this connected up, and we'll have we'll have a door right where the elevator is and we'll just go up and down from the elevator and pop out the door to get to this section so but today i said we were going to go explore the um titan and that's what we're going to do i just i just wanted to show you what i was up to i've already started the the sealed water room here the water generator room and this is the the cargo box and extensions for it for the water because water's freaking heavy <laughs> yes it's freaking heavy okay so let's I don't think I dumped all I couldn't empty this thing I've been slowly emptying it while I've while I've been putting cargo uh, so how much can I, okay, so I can put a lot more in there now. Okay, so let's do that. And, oh, did I get it all in there now? Maybe I did. Okay, good. Okay, so I got no food. How's the ammo? Got lots of ammo. Got no fuel made. Oh, that could be a problem. Let's grab some. Prometheum. Yeah, we'll just... No, I don't want to put it in there. I want to put it in that one. Thank you. Uh, we'll get that grinding up fuel because I ran out. So, and I guess we should take some more O2. So let's grab all that stuff too. Okay, so let's... Yeah, I don't think I got anything else, anything in here besides ammo. Okay, so we'll grab some more O2. Did I use it all? Huh. Okay. <laughs> I did. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's fine. We'll just make some real quick here. Um... I gotta jump out and tell it to, because I while you're while you're inside a vehicle, it won't let you look at go into the control panel of your base for some reason, even though it, it shows that I should be able to from the registry. Um, deposit bunker control panel, and then if we try and go into the where is it here? Constructor, come on. Constructor, large constructor. See, it won't. It won't actually let me in it to to 
choose anything and run stuff, so. That's, a f that's fine. We're right beside the base. We'll just use our drone to go into the control panel of the base. And then from here, we can get this going. So that's okay. That's plugging along real well. But we do need oxygen, so let's get some O2 going. And yeah, we'll just let that spin up some bottles here. And I guess guess we should probably make some cores. That's what I'm thinking. Let's make some cores. Three, four, five. You know what? Six. We'll bring half a dozen cores with us. I don't know if we're going to need all this oxygen, but... Um, I might need to grab some of the wood logs too. Okay, we'll let it get up to 20 bottles and then we'll maybe move this down here. Okay, and then we will, from the whole mole, let's give it. Uh, we should we're gonna need ammo right so let's just that'll be good enough that's plenty um, okay I don't want to grab a whole too much stuff that we you know overload us here Okay, so that should be fine for ammo, and we're just waiting for the oxygen to cook up here, and there we go. And we'll make fuel on the way. Okay, so let's go into the whole moles control panel now. No, the whole moles control panel. And we'll go into its constructor, and I haven't used its constructor yet. So we're going to connect to the ore and wood one, because that's our big giant one. Um, and yeah, from here we could like do output to ammo. And I mean, we've still got three more. You know what? Let's do another thousand. Do another thousand right directly into our ammo box. Love that. That's so cool. Okay, so we also, from the ore and wood, so ore and wood, and then we go into the oxygen, come on, ore and wood, there we go, and oh, that, that was weird. It's using the output container for storage for its leftover construction materials. Huh. Well, that's a little messy. I don't I don't really like that. I didn't tell it to do that. So, or wait, what? Yeah, uh, that's just weird, isn't it? And then it started doing it in there. I don't know why it was doing it. To, I don't know why it was depositing into there. That seems a little strange. Anyway, um, we're done here. Let's let's go. Let's go check out that, that, um, we gotta kill some stuff and get their meat on the way too, I think. I mean, I guess I should, I guess, well, I guess I could grab, we'll eat that, and then we'll grab, 
like half a dozen of these and you know what here hey we'll, we'll just got a couple of fridges on here we'll stick it in there good enough we're not going to starve now okay let's get out of here and go check out that signal crash tight in front okay okay so let's I'm gonna switch my drills off. I'm gonna pull the mini guns out. We're gonna go into the constructor. And is that almost done now? Okay, good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just switch this to the same thing. We're gonna make a bunch of fuel. make a bunch of fuel okay oh we can kill these guys god it's like it, it's literally like shooting fish in a barrel it's just a joke they just stand there and die Yeah, I mean, basically, once you get a vehicle like this in the game, it's just, your life becomes not such a struggle anyway. You're not actually struggling to survive anymore. Um, I'm actually kind of at the exploring expansion phase of the game now. I'm, I'm out of the survival phase. I have a base. I'm actually growing food. I have... A decent oxygen supply like I've got so much water that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run out uh, tons of fuel so all the basic needs are met now uh, shelter and a means to actually collect more stuff too so Okay. With the four uh, Gatling guns on this thing, stuff like that just goes down so fast. Even though that we're on hard and they're a ridiculous amount of hit points, they're just bullet sponges. Okay. display on both sides well I didn't want to display it on that side I wanted to go like this and now it's bugged out because I gotta redo it okay so now what it gave me insto spoiled food from them what kind of crap is that really I didn't get any meat I just I'm just getting spoiled food you're kidding me, right? That... Wait, what? I'm gonna have to look back on the video. That... Okay, that's... That's whacked. That's just whack. Okay, let's, let's head there. This video is getting a little long in the tooth. Let's just get there. And we'll call it an episode pretty close it's like right beside us wow wow it's like on the other okay should I kill them okay you know what I, I'm curious now to see what the hell I'm looting off these things meat that was like like instantaneous about the spoil or something so all the meat that I was picking up was getting that crappy spoilage time and then 
it just happened to spoil right away on me. Uh, like, that was weird, wasn't it? I'm going to have to look back in the video to see if I actually looted spoiled food without realizing it. Because that just seems weird. See, that's fine now. That's okay. I can use the spoiled food. I actually need it. I need it right now. I actually need it a lot right now, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I'm bitching about it. I actually need it. <laughs> Copper. Woo. We got a couple stacks of that already, so we don't really need to get any. And Oh, there's... We can pick Pentaxid on this planet. Well, that's good. Ooh, what do we have down here? We have multiple stuff, and it looks like a base. Really? Are these going to be in Xerax? Yep. Okay, that's fine. It's in Xerax. I'd rather it be in Xerax than Polaris. And it looks like there's... And of course it's night. Of course it's night, you know. I should have uh, slept before we came out here, but that's fine. Go to signal. Okay, we're going to have to take out some drones here. I can't see them, though. I don't see the drones, so I'm not really sure where they are. Okay. There's one over there. Oh! That's where it is! <laughs> Hiding! He's a cheeky little sneaky bugger. What's he shooting at? Oh, Xerax on the ground here. Is there a drone coming at me? No, it flew over there. Okay. Holy crap, Xerax everywhere. Look at this. Well, it's a good thing I didn't try and do this in my frickin' motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> and an advanced base right there. Crap. Okay, well that's okay. That's far enough away. It's not shooting us. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get in good with the Talus again. They've been like super pissed at me for a while. I want this drone. I want to loot him. I got to loot him. Give me, give me, give me what he got. Ooh, fusion cell. Ooh, bullets. Okay, so what else? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we what are we being shot at by? We got other drones or something? What's going on here? Must be these guys. Oh, yeah, I guess I can't drill them. Yeah, friendly with Polaris. Okay, what am I shooting? What's shooting me? Okay, let's try looting these guys. I'm really 
happy we're friendly with Polaris already. Okay, find the tight mid part. Let's let's loot this. God, they're just everywhere. Look at this. Okay, well let's let's see if I can get some of these guys looted. Got shot a bit there. That's okay. Come on. Drone, nice. See if we can get any thing off these guys. Some credit cards, that's fine. Ooh, a shotgun upgrade kit, that's good. We can make a two, T2 shotgun. And I'm not gonna reach these guys, nope, that's fine. Okay. You know what, I do wanna loot them though. Before they vanish. So it looks like you only get faction if you manually shoot them with the guns. Doesn't look like faction, or it doesn't look like the uh, turrets give faction. Oh, wait. We'll see. Yeah, I got no faction from that. So, yeah, the turrets. Turrets killing them. You don't get anything besides the ability to loot them, I guess. I forgot how much food these guys keep on them. That's awesome. Okay. I mean, I could keep just... Oh, there's a golem over there. We're going to have to loot the golem. I mean... Can't just leave a golem unlooted. It's like sacrilege. Okay. Oh, it's so bright. It's whiteout conditions. And ooh, get full here. We can like eat some of this. Stick some of that in the fridge. And did everything spoil again? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then we can put stuff. We can. No. Oh, is he coming at me? No. Okay. We can put stuff. I guess in here All right yeah i mean there's really nowhere else to put everything anyway besides just holding it on me yeah okay that's fine okay Well, uh, we need to find the Titan mid part. So let's stay away from that base over there. That looks like the Titan mid part. And we got a Promethean posit there. That's good. And there is a drone. Let's kill the drone. This is super good XP and faction. And I'm now neutral with the with the talent. Excellent, 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 excellent. Check the energy. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to call the episode here. Next episode, we're just going to pick up right here. Um, so, because I need a bio break. So, this is a good spot to actually, it's been, it's time. It's time. So, once again, the whole mole is performing brilliantly, even for menial little missions like this it's great obviously it's not a combat vessel it's it is 
strictly just a mining rig, but it can defend itself, right? So, so it's good for actually looting too, because it can hold 32,000 storage units. So next, next episode, we're going to finish off this section of the quest chain. We're going to put cores in the Titan sections and we're going to quick loot them and you're going to see how easy and awesome that is with a vehicle that can that can hold it all so until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>